thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this episode. So here's the deal. The first major snowstorm of the season is on its way, and it's due to arrive this afternoon. Which means that I need to move my tractor out of the bush before the squalls hit. Otherwise, it could become snowbound at the cabin. I'll also be hauling the epoxy door out with the tractor, so that I can give it a final flood coat in a heated workshop back home. However, I want to plane the door before taking it out of the cabin. So, with a snowstorm looming on the horizon, I don't have much time left to spare. Since I don't own a 4 foot wide planer, I decided to make a 4 foot router sled instead. After setting up the router sled, I noticed that the aluminum rails flex slightly under the weight of the router. This was no good, since any movement in the rails would mess up the planing. So I swapped them out for a set of steel ones instead, which were rigid enough to keep the router bit at a consistent depth. I did three passes in total, taking off less than an eighth of an inch each time, so as not to overload the router. Real quick, I'd like to thank Helix for sponsoring this episode. Like most people, sleep is really important to me because it gives me the energy and the focus I need to do the work that I'm doing on a daily basis. And that's where Helix comes in. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Based on our results, Helix matched us with their Midnight Luxe mattress. 
My wife and I are side sleepers and we like a medium mattress, which is why the Midnight Lux is a great fit for us. What we love most about our Helix mattress is that it's night and day more comfortable than our old mattress. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, along with a 10 year warranty. Plus there are financing options and flexible payment plans. The best part is that Helix delivers right to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set it up yourself. I love Helix and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com forward slash the outsider for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Now to play on the other side of the door. This time, I put up some vapor barrier to keep the dust and shavings from spreading all over the cabin again. The door surface is still a little bit rough, but at least it's flat. All it needs now is some sanding to smooth out the creases and a flood coat to restore its clarity. Now it was time for the journey home. Most of the trip home was cold but clear. It wasn't until the last leg that it started to squall. However, I made it back safe and sound before the snow became too deep to travel in. I returned to the cabin several days later to tidy up and do some maintenance work in preparation for the long winter.
As you can see, the fire bricks are in desperate need of replacing. Okay, so admittedly, this isn't the best tool for the job, but it sure beats putting my snow boots back on and taking the grinder outside for a single cut with the masonry blade. So my fiskers took one for the team. A little blunter than before, but still able to cut branches just fine. The fire bricks on the floor of the stove were still in good shape, so I put them back in as is. Once I had warmed up by the fire, I checked on the solar system and saw that the panels had stopped producing power, the likely culprit being the recent snowfall. With the panels cleared, they were once again producing power, although not very much, since there was still a coating of ice on them. However, the ice will eventually melt on the next sunny day, and the array will return to nominal output. sure is nice having the wood stove back up and running again, especially with a stone hearth, which I installed in the last episode. But can you believe there's 300 pounds of mortar in this hearth alone, 
not to mention the weight of the stone, which is another 100 pounds at the very least. So there's lots of thermal mass within the hearth to absorb the heat from the wood stove and release it more slowly over a longer period of time. So that'll, that'll help to regulate the heat within this cabin even after the wood stove dies down. Now in the future, I'm considering adding a stone ledge around the back of the hearth. It'll be about a foot and a half to two feet high, under the windows anyway, and that'll further add to the thermal mass of the hearth, which is always a good thing. And plus we can use the ledge as a spot to throw our winter gear on after we come in out of the snow. So that'll be a spot that they'll be able to dry out much quicker and also it'll keep our winter gear out of the way. Anyway, my main goal before Christmas is to get the epoxy door hung at the back of the cabin uh, and I got it out just in the nick of time because as I was driving it home with the tractor, I got hit with a snow squall. Now the tractor, it can go through some pretty deep snow, but I never want to risk it because if that tractor ever gets stuck in the deep snow while I'm out in the bush, it will take a long time to get it back out again because that tractor is about 5,000 pounds of dead weight once it gets stuck. I should know. This was me four years ago with the McCormick. You may have noticed that this episode is a little bit shorter than usual. And that's just because I've been doing lots of work behind the scenes, getting ready and prepping for the coming snow, which is here now. But uh, the snow cat that I, that I use every winter uh, is out of commission at the moment. Uh, the carburetor has to be rebuilt, so that's a bit of a pain. As well, my snowmobile isn't running at the moment and I need to figure that out too. So there's lots of work that uh, just wouldn't be all that exciting to film, but I've been doing all these things, trying to get these machines up and running for the cold snow. With all that being said, I'm going to pack up now and head home so I can begin work on the epoxy door. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, be well, and God bless.